Alright, so what is up YouTube? It is the Starks here, bringing you guys yet again another YouTube video. And in fact, this is going to be my very first tutorial on this channel. And it is going to be the Sony Vegas Pro 13. Um, how to split two videos in half or side by side from each other. And um, I think this will, will work on both uh, versions 10, 11, 10 to 13 basically. And again, the tutorial is where you split to, um, you have two videos in one basically um, side by side from each other and in this case what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on open and then click on whichever desired clip you want in this case I'm going to click new outro I'm going to click no then I'm going to click again on open outro 2 and then I'm going to move it down here now you're going to want to make sure that the audio is matching with, with the with the footage as well with your clip um, and so let me just move that down there for a sec because I'm going to show you guys something. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click this to get video event pan slash crop, or you can simply just click here, which gives you the exact same option. So in this case, I'm going to click it, and then you're going to want to uh, find the width. Now, you can easily uh, uh, move this towards the specific angle um, of the vi video you want. This is not a video, this is actually two images for my outro that I just added music and text to. However, if it's a, if it's an actual footage, especially if it's like Call of Duty with a gun or something, you're going to want to move it to the desired gun or like the, the desired p position or specific um, angle that you really, really want. So in this case, I'm just going to recenter it because I don't want just to go here or something. I just want to recenter it. And then you're going to want to do the width divided by 2. Now, in this case, I think it's 640. However, I'm just going to leave it at 640 whether or not it is 640. Right? Now it's going to crop down to that. It's normal. That's how it's going to work. Now you're going to obviously going to want to go to your next clip and then you're going to want to right click it for a video event pan crop. Or you, again, you can simply just click here. It gives you the exact same option. In this case, I'm just going to right click and then click here. Do the exact same thing, 640. Now it doesn't it doesn't have to be the um, uh, correspond to the exact same width as the first video, but in this case I want it to be because I want it to be fitting, um, you know, just equal to the exact same uh, footage. So that way it doesn't look like this. Or no, let me just do that way. It just doesn't look like so. Hold on. Because it looks kind of awkward, where you know, just it's okay. Well, it's not showing, but I'm just gonna recenter this. Um, let me just go to 640, only because again, I want it to be equal to the first fit footage. Now, obviously, it disappears because again, it's at the same width and height or whatever of the first video. Now, in this case, you're gonna want to find task motion. I think it's called. In this case, I actually, I actually downloaded this um, this software not too long ago, like almost two hours ago and I just could not find task motion so what I did was I did some investigation and what I did was I just simply said okay you know this looks like it can be moved so the, all you have to do is go towards this bar it'll be best if you just move to the bottom of it and just move that there then click here and then that's when it reveals more um, oops I did not mean to do that that's when it reveals more options and in this case it does reveal track motion sorry I said task motion I, I meant track motion so what you're gonna wanna do is uh, click on track motion um, because it is essential to making this perfect in this case I think you can click all the different positions and adjust it but I'm not gonna do that you can also move it and, and just angle it but I'm not gonna do that all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move it I'm not even gonna press nothing I'm just gonna move my arrow keys I'm gonna move it left, or you can whatever. Like, if you want, this is the first video clip that I'm moving. You can either move it left or right, or up and down, wh wh wherever you you want it to move up to. Um, in this case, I'm moving it left, so that looks perfect. Now, in this case, I'm gonna click here, click on my second video, and then click on track motion yet again, and then I'm gonna move it right. In this case, I'm moving it right. And then obviously there is um, more black that's being revealed here. Um, and what you're going to want to do to change that is you're going to want to again click on your first video and click uh, video event pan crop or you can simply just click here if you don't have that option. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change it to whichever size you want to fit the exact same um, equally. And what I did was I just moved it to 1300. 
because I, I felt like it fit that and then obviously you still have black so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to click on your second video do the exact same thing again the video event pan crop if you don't have that option just click here then you want to change it to 1300 it corresponds to the the first video and now it's actually the same now however again if you wanted to to pan into a specific angle of the video you just have to click or just just readjust it over here but I'm not going to do that now you still have black at the top of the the video slash this is an image yet again but if it were a video you'll probably still have black what you're going to want to do to change that is you're going to want to simply um, click click the um, just uh, the first video just click um, right click video event pan crop or again just click there and then you're, you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the height of the video and in this case you're not going to want to go up you want to decrease it in this case I'm going to decrease it down to 70 I'm going to decrease it by 10 or whichever you want to decrease it by in this case I'm doing it by 10 and now you don't see the black now if you were to go back up to 80 you can see the black appearing so again you just want to decrease it to 70 and then you're going to want to do the same for the this one unless you can it's there's no black revealed there however in this case I'm still going to do it because again I want my videos to be to do correspond to each other so in this case it's going to be 1070 and that's ultimately how you do it now if I were to play it let me just lower my volume here you can see that you can hear it in just a sec And now obviously the video kind of disappears only because this outro clip or video is longer than this one. So what you're going to want to do for that is obviously simple trimming. Just click on here. And then you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Ooh, no, 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 no. You're going to want to click on this. And then what you're going to want to do is trim end. Now both videos correspond to each other. And it's, you know, perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed my very first series or sorry um, tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 13 um, again I think this would work on both ten, the versions 10 down to 13 um, and I just actually got this program not too long ago or software I got it an hour ago and yeah so I, again I hope you guys enjoyed again if you're trying to find task um, uh, tr sorry track motion all you all you're gonna want to do is move the the, the taskbar some more features are um, are revealed here and that's ultimately how you split it in half now I think you can even add even more videos to split however that that you know causes um you're gonna need a lot more math for that technically not really because again you can just use your arrow keys to position it but um in this case I'm not gonna do that I just wanna have two videos um, and I and I figure I wanted to do this because I wanna do this for the last of us subscriber challenges and um, I want and other things that I'm having in plan for uh, the last of us so I, again I hope you guys enjoyed this video yet again if you did remember to subscribe like and comment below if this worked for you if it did that'd be great and with all that being said yet again subscribe if you're new to the channel like the video and comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching